Diplomatic efforts are underway to reach a ceasefire in Gaza, with the U.S. pressuring Hamas to agree to Israel's terms. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has been meeting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel to push for a deal he says is achievable. Blinken's also told Netanyahu the U.S. still opposes a grand offensive in Rafah and that there needs to be an improvement in the distribution of humanitarian aid into Gaza. We're determined uh, to get a ceasefire that brings the hostages home uh, and to get it now. Uh, and the only reason that that wouldn't be achieved is because of Hamas. Uh, there is a proposal on the table, and as we've said, uh, no delays, no, excu no excuses. Uh, the time is now, uh, and the time is now long past due to bring the hostages home to their families. Uh, at the same time, even as we're working uh, with uh, relentless determination to get the ceasefire that brings the hostages home, uh, we also have to be focused on uh, people in Gaza who are suffering in this crossfire of Hamas's making. Going to get more about our correspondent in occupied East Jerusalem, Stephanie Deccan. And Steph, Steph, we've been here so many times before with Anthony Blinken turning up and visiting uh, senior figures in Tel Aviv and in, in Jerusalem as well. Uh, what is the aim this time? Does it, does it make any difference to what we have seen before? Well, the difference this time is that the Rafah, the Rafah offensive seems to be imminent if this deal doesn't go ahead. And this is why also you have the Americans and also the Egyptians putting incredible pressure on both sides. They don't want to see the Rafah offensive happen in the wide scale ground offensive as it is planned. Um, so you have him really pushing for that. But interestingly, the rhetoric that's been coming from the Israeli prime minister for the last couple of days and today and the message to Blinken is that basically there is not going to be an end to the war. And we know that this is something that Hamas uh, is stuck to. They say that there has to be an end to the war in any agreement before it releases any captives. The current deal on the table talks about a sustained period of calm in the second phase after a 40 day ceasefire, but with the message coming from the Prime Minister talking also the fact that the Rafah is going to happen with or without a deal, uh, certainly it's sending a message and we're expecting to hear from Hamas uh, by the end of Wednesday, by the end of tonight, a response to the deal that is on the table. It's sending a message that A, he has no intention of ending the war, and B, Rafah is going to happen, deal or no deal. Uh, so, you know, you start to question what incentive Hamas will have to agree to anything. Very complicated negotiations. We're going to have to wait and see certainly what they're going to respond and then go from there. As we were mentioning before, Anthony Blinken saying that this push for a deal is, he says, uh, achievable, that uh, he's told Netanyahu that the U.S. is still opposing a ground offensive in Rafah, as you've been talking about. Just to talk us through briefly what the situation, you alluded to it just a moment ago, just talk us through what the, the, the logistics are, if you like, about the ceasefire deal that's going on at the moment. Yes, what's on the table at the moment is uh, initially a 40-day ceasefire. Uh, 33 captives will be released. These are captives that fall under the humanitarian umbrella. So uh, those over 50 years old, women, uh, and those that are injured um, and sick. In response, we understand uh, up to 900, almost 1,000 Palestinian prisoners will be released. Also, the Israeli army will remove itself somewhat from the corridor that currently cuts Gaza in two from the north and the south. And there should be the allowance of Palestinians to return north to their homes. Once that happens, you will then have a period, uh, a second phase of sustained calm. So all of that uh, seems to be quite clear. But if you look at the positions of both sides, which is one is saying, only a deal if there is an end to the war, Hamas. The Israeli Prime Minister saying absolutely no end to the war and Rafah with or without a deal. It seems very difficult as to how this deal can be achieved. The way Anthony Blinken still is describing it is as cautiously optimistic that something is tangible at this point. But again, what's different this time is that if there is no deal, the Israelis have made it very clear Rafah is going to happen and it's going to happen very soon. Stephanie Decker in Occupied East Jerusalem. Stephanie, thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.